Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick flip through through a mini album with the 4x4 We Are Memory Keepers um, album that I made for a friend who lost a cousin um, a year ago and I wanted to have a gift for her to show that you can still celebrate life even after they're not here with good memories. I wrote her a note right here. Um, I stapled these, glossy access and that. Um, this is a, a pre-made like little envelope thing so she can pull it out, read my note to her. Um, uh, overlay that I stapled because the photo I cut before <laughs> was too short and I didn't have the, let's see, foresight? I don't remember. I don't want to say that word the wrong way. Um, I didn't think I was going to do this, but it turned out pretty cute. Just used my hole puncher and made two holes on there. I put some um, glossy accents over these letters so they wouldn't, or numbers, so they wouldn't come off. Um, Inca gold. Oh, I love that stuff. Turned out pretty cute. And I just put a foam, glitter foam die cut that had, like, self-adhesive over it. Um, his name. Um, used a craft envelope. Oh, I guess I should put something there. Um, a Dear Lizzie bow, some more Inca gold, an acetate together, some uh, enamel dots. I used my punch, this one, to make <coughs> these little tabs, which are pretty useful. So he just opens this. There's a quote from him from um, Facebook with the picture that I layered. On the back, another picture. I try to mix it up a little bit with different ways to embellish, try not to keep the same, but I didn't over embellish because I think if I made it too interactive, it would have been too confusing for someone who doesn't scrapbook to understand where all the little flippy things are. Another quote from him from his Facebook page, and I have a Studio Calico stamp here that goes back far enough um, with the dates, which is pretty good. Um, I used some vellum that had pre-writings on it. It was a book, some washi tape, a wood veneer sticky thing right there, a Project Life card, Amy Tan, I think it was a plus one, another quote from him. And these are all photos I stole off of Facebook that were either on her or his page. She still has a page up. Um, it was pretty helpful because I got all these cool quotes from him and photos that people have posted on his wall that I stole and printed out. And I just backed these up because I didn't cut them or I didn't print them out to fill the page, which is fine. Um, and I used uh, just some cardstock behind it just a minute and then another Amy Tan thing. I didn't want to do too much. I wanted to try to keep it simple. It was pretty simple. I mean, anyone can do this, especially with social media. You have access to everyone's, you know, photos and past um, status updates and I think that's really special because a lot of it has to be encouraging of what he posted um, and just remember it's an easy gift to give anyone and it's always good to look back on memories it's different when there's things posted on Facebook versus you having the physical photo printed out because not everyone prints out photos anymore and I didn't again want to have it too complicated just trying to make it really simple I know I could have put dangly things and stuff but I decided to keep it pretty simple and that's it hopefully this inspired you to make something useful try to use up your stash and hopefully you have a good crafty weekend this valentine weekend thanks for tuning in talk to you later